A brand new Star Wars shooter mod is in development and currently free to play right now. It is in open beta and it might be the next best thing for the Star Wars gaming community, honestly. This is Star Wars Sagas and it is probably the best indie Star Wars mod of all time, in my opinion. This new release is yet another example of how indie developers are continuing to provide amazing projects better than any AAA companies could ever deliver us. You can see all of the topics that I will cover in the video today in the timestamps or in the description down below, as well as raw footage right at the end of the game itself just to showcase how good this mod actually is. Please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel to keep up to date with the updates that will be released along with this game's life cycle and other amazing mods that start Star Wars fans have produced for us, for example, a Battlefront 3 legacy mod that I will be showing very, very soon. This is where the fun begins. Star Wars Sagas was made by just five developers. They are the same developers who brought us Galactic Contention, which was a mod for Squad, which is a massive scale Battlefront shooter, which honestly was a lot of fun. This mod here, provided to us through Insurgency Sandstorm, brings to us the happy balance between normal Battlefront and the huge scale Milsim shooter. Star Wars Sagas is played on the 2018 shooter called Insurgency Sandstorm that you do need to own on Steam first in order to play this mod. It normally costs about £35 on Steam, but like always with every game, you can get it way cheaper on a third party website, which I'll leave a link to down in the description because it is so much cheaper. The mod started off on the 18th of August 2024 in a closed beta, but recently, 10 days later on the 28th of August, it then went live on open beta, meaning everybody everywhere could play it. However, there are only Australian and US servers, but I'm from the UK and they play absolutely fine for me. So tell me, what are your initial thoughts about this mod? I think it's absolutely amazing. Let me know down in the comments down below and I'll be sure to reply to every single comment that is posted on this video. So the real question is, how do you get access to this amazing mod? I will show you right now. You need to have access to this server right here, it's just called Sagas. I will leave a link to this in the description down below so you can join it for yourself. As you can see, there's about 13,000 members, so this is gaining popularity every single day. So first of all, you need to click join Sagas, very simple. It then has a few questions on here that you just fill out for yourself and then you can get into the server. So now we are here, it takes you straight to the announcements tab where you can look at every announcement so far. You can look at every details about the mod. It is amazing. Everything you need to know, you can find it in this server. There's also chats here down the side where you can speak to people. You can have troubleshooting if you have any problems, but we will go into how to actually get this mod. It's very, very easy. So in the official servers tab right here, you have all of these available servers. You can see if they're online as well, which is really, really handy. And they all have each individual IP addresses. So for example, I will use this one right here. So now I have the full game launched. This is Insurgency Sandstorm. So all you need to do now is head over to the mods tab right here, search up Star Wars on the left hand side, and you will see Sagas. It has five star reviews from 100 ratings, which is pretty damn good. So you click on this and you click download. I already have mine downloaded, but just click download. You might need to wait 10 to 15 minutes depending on your internet speed just to get every single thing downloaded. So all the skins for the different operators, the weapons, the maps themselves. So once you've got that downloaded, you can then come out of this, go back all the way to play, go onto community servers, and then click on connect to an IP, and then paste that IP address in, as you can see on screen here, hit enter, and it says password. All you need to do, click okay. And there's also custom loading screens for some of the maps. It looks sick. So now we are here, we go into Assault, you can do Assault, you can do Support, Scout, Officer, anything like that. There are so many different classes you can use in this game. You have the custom E5, which you can use as a droid, or the EE3, which is Boba Fett's gun. It sounds awesome. It has all original, authentic sounds from the Star Wars movies. It is amazing. So I'm just going to create a class. So now we can go into Deploy and look at this. We're on Moss Eisley. If you've made it this far into the video, please let me know by leaving a comment that says Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? That would be much appreciated. So currently in the game, there are three maps available to play right now. They are Moss Eisley, Utapau, and Geonosis, all of which look phenomenal. I absolutely love the look of these. There's also three maps that are currently in development right now, which are Mustafar, 
Umbara and Maigito. Just imagine reenacting those Clone Wars scenes. Oh my god, I cannot wait. Getting all the boys involved, playing on Maigito, I'm looking forward to that. And even Mustafar, the amount of memories I have playing on the original Battlefront games. Oh man, I'm so excited. So as for the system requirements to run this game and to run this mod, actually very surprisingly good. You do not have to have one of these insane NASA built PCs. You can have a very bog standard PC like I do. I only have a 2060 graphics card, 32 gig of RAM I think. My PC handles this game very, very easily, and I think yours will too. So, what do you think of this mod? I absolutely love it. I'm going to be playing this right now after I finish this video because I am addicted to this so much. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts about this mod. I really like it. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and see you next time.